may the peace and tranquility of the one lord be upon all of us hi students it's faisal have a good day today we are going to see some problems on edexcel international cgsc 921 grade students mathematics a students book number 1 in this book we are going to solve problems on exercise number 1 problem number 11 to 14 on this video we already made your videos for the problems 1 to 10 the link in the description you can watch it okay so now we are going to see the 11th problem change each of these to a mixed fraction we are going to make this 8 by 3 into a mixed fraction it was it was an easiest to think to convert a fraction into an uh, mixed fraction so the first subdivision declares that we have to convert the fraction 8 by 3 into a mixed fraction simply make a division okay normally uh, we are using the long division method so i am going to use the same method i am going to divide 3 with respect to 8 okay so 2 3 or 6 2 3 or 6 so we can, if you are subtracting 8 and 6 we can get the remainder as 2 we cannot divide 2 with 3 because there is no 2 on the third table so the mixed fraction is nothing but the whole quotient into remainder by divisor that is quotient remainder by divisor is the form of our mixed fraction okay similarly if you are going to make 13 by 4 that is a truth some 13 by 4 make the long division 13 with respect to 4 we know that 3 4 so 12 the remainder is 1 we cannot divide 1 with 4 because there is no 1 on the fourth table so we cannot divide 4 on 1 we cannot divide 1 by 4 that's why here the quotient is 3 the remainder is 1 and the divisor is 4 so the mixed fraction is 3 1 by 4 okay similarly for 17 by 5 make a long division 17 and 5 Three fives are fifteen. We know that three fives are fifteen. If you are subtracting that, we can get two. That's why the mixed fraction of seventeen five is equal to quotient into remainder by divisor. Three two by five. Three two by five is the mixed fraction for seventeen by five. Okay. Similarly, for nineteen by seven. Nineteen by seven. Uh, we have to divide 19 with 7. Uh, 7, 2 7s are 14. The balance is 5. 5 cannot be divided by 7. That's why the quotient is 2. The remainder is 5 by 7 is the mixed fraction of 19 by 7. In this manner, we can easily conclude. We can easily convert any fraction into one mixed fraction. Okay. In the next, we are going to convert a mixed fraction into one fraction. Okay. by the way in the next four problems describes us how to convert a mixed fraction into a fraction it was also very simple so here we are going to convert the mixed fraction to 1 by 3 into the fraction so it is so simple we have to multiply this two and add with this this one okay so that is in the numerator 2 into 3 plus 1 divided by 3 okay we got to multiply this two and add with the numerator so it will become 2 into 3 6 plus 1 7 by 3 is the fraction so similarly 3 3 by 5 we have to multiply this 2 and add with this okay so 3 into 5 plus 3 divided by 5 3 into 5 15 plus 3 by 5 equal to 18 by 5 is the fraction okay similarly 1 5 by 6 so 6 into 1 Plus five by six. Okay, six and one six plus five by six equal to eleven by six. Similarly, five six by seven. Guess it yourself. If this video helpful to you, share with your friends, like and subscribe. Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching.